Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to share my thoughts on graphing sinusoidals. Um, the sinusoidal is either sine or cosine waveform. Um, the standard form for sine waveform is sine 2 pi f naught t plus theta and the standard form for cos is 2 pi cos 2 pi f naught t plus theta. And this over here is a sine waveform which starts from 0 gets to maximum and then gets to minimum and then back to zero. So this is one cycle of sine waveform. We need to keep this in our mind to plot sinusoidals. And that's a waveform for cosine which starts from uh, one and then it gets down to the minimum value and then again it rises to the maximum value. And that is one complete cycle of cosine wave. So keeping this information in our mind, we can plot the sinusoidals. I'm going to explain this concept using examples. So for the very first example I have x of t equal to uh, 3 cos 4 pi t. Now just before we move on, uh, in many books the sinusoidal is uh, usually written in terms of cos only, uh, well it makes no difference as long as you know what you are doing. So yeah, I mean, here we have 3 cos 4 pi t to plot. If I compare my given sinusoidal with the standard form, I realize that this part has to be equal to this part, which suggests that 2 pi f naught t has to be equal to 4 pi t. Therefore, f naught is 2 hertz. Well, hertz mean cycles per second, that is, number of cycles the waveform completes in one second. Now our, our frequency is 2 Hz, therefore our sinusoidal is going to complete 2 cycles in one second. Now this information is very important. So now once we have the frequency of 2 Hz and the amplitude of 3 and we see there is no phase shift, we can start off plotting our sinusoidal waveform. To do that we plot the independent axis first and then we draw a cosine wave. So this is my cosine wave. I'm going to populate it with the information that is provided by this example which is amplitude of 3, frequency of 2 Hz and the phase shift of 0. Now that we know this is a cos wave so it has to start from 1. So I'm going to put my origin, so I'm going to put my origin here. Um, the amplitude of the waveform is 3, so we'll have 3 here. And there is no phase shift, so yeah, it's okay. And uh, now we have to label the x axis. The frequency is 2 Hz, which means that we are going to complete 2 cycles in 1 second. So that's my first cycle till this point, and that's my second cycle till this point. So this time is going to be 1 second and half of that is going to be 0.5. So I'm completing two cycles in one second as suggested by this frequency of 2 Hz. So that's the plot of x of t equals to 3 cos 4 pi t. So that is a plot for 3 cos 4 pi t that we did in this example. Now for the next example I'll have a waveform which looks something like this. 3 cos 4 pi t plus pi by 2. Now that waveform is similar to x of t a apart from the fact that we have a phase shift of pi by 2. Now there are several ways to plot this waveform and I'm going to tell you the way that I feel comfortable with and which I think is, uh, not, is the least time consuming. Um, so yeah here we go. So let's plot the x-axis and the y-axis first. Whenever you are given a waveform with a phase shift, you just ignore the phase shift first, ignore it altogether, think as if it's not there, and then plot the rest of the waveform which is 3 cos 4 by t. Luckily we already have the waveform for 3 cos 4 by t up here. So I'm going to use this waveform to plot y of t. Once you have this waveform 3 cos 4 pi t, then you bring in this phase shift 
and get this complete waveform. Now, what you have to remember is, if I draw a very generalized cosine wave, which looks something like this, so there it has four parts. This is the first part, that's the second part, that's the third part, and that's the fourth part. And remember that all these parts are of size pi by 2 each. So if that's 0 and that's 2 pi, that's pi, that's pi by 2, and that's 3 pi by 2. So this part is of length pi by 2, this part is of length pi by 2, and this part is of length pi by 2, and this part is of length pi by 2. So here we have a waveform that we have to shift by pi by 2 and the plus suggests that you have to shift to the uh, left. So I have to shift this red waveform to the left by pi by 2. So let's see pi by 2 is quarter of the waveform that is quarter of one cycle. So if I start from here I'll see this is my first cycle. This is half of cycle and this is the part which contains quarter of a cycle. So I have to move this waveform back left by pi by 2. So this point is going to get onto the 0. And if I do that, I'm going to end up with this waveform. So once you have this waveform, you can also extend it on the other side. I'm sorry, I don't have the best of the drawings, but it should be okay to make the point. So once we have this waveform, now I'm going to now I'm going to label the the axes. The amplitude is three. The frequency was four um, two hertz. So I have to complete two cycles in one second. That's my first cycle till here, and that's my second cycle. So this is one second, and this is half second. So that's the plot of y of t equal to three cos four pi t plus pi by 2. Now in this slide I have listed the steps that are involved in graphing sinusoidal. The first step is to check if you're plotting the sine or cosine and second step is to ignore the phase shift and plot the rest of the waveform and the important thing is don't label the x-axis as of yet and third step is to give the waveform that we plotted in the last step uh, in the last step, a phase shift, and uh, once we are done, then we can label the x axis and the y axis. So, let me do one more example to further clarify this concept. And for that, I'm going to plot y of t equal to, um, let's say, 3 sine 2 pi t plus pi by 4. Um, so as the first step, all I have to do is plot this part and ignore the phase shift. Um, it's sine waveform, so it starts from zero. And then we label this as t. We don't, we don't label the x-axis as, as of yet. We just draw this 3 sine 2 pi t. So let me just put my origin here and extend this waveform. So this is going to be sine 2 pi ft. Um, now I have to give it a shift of pi by 4. Um, if I plot a generalized sine wave, it looks something like this. So that one quarter is of size pi by 2 and the next quarter is of size pi by 2 the third quarter is of size pi by 2 and the last quarter is of size pi by 2 remember this is a generalized sine wave in, in our question we have to give a phase shift of pi by 4 and the plus suggests that you have to shift the waveform to the left so we need to move are uh, this waveform to the left by a pi by 4. So if that part contains pi by 2 of the waveform, then half of it is going to contain the pi by 4 of the waveform. So 
if I look here, this is a quarter of the waveform, which is this part. And then I have to further half it to get the pi by 4 part. So this part is the pi by 4 part, this part. So I have to move this waveform to the left by pi by 4, by which I mean either you drag this waveform to this left by pi by 4, or just make your um, origin or the y-axis at this point. And, um, yeah, rub this one. And this one too. So now this waveform is uh, sine 2 pi t plus pi by 4. Uh, we have to yet label our axis. So to do that, we see the amplitude of 3. It's just going to be 3 here and minus 3 here. To label the x-axis, I have to find the frequency. And if I compare this part 2 pi t with 2 pi f naught t, I realize my f naught is 1 hertz which means that I have to complete one cycle in one second. So this is my y-axis. If I start from here, I have to complete one cycle. So this is my one cycle completed. So this time is going to be off one second because frequency is one hertz. And I have to complete one cycle in one second. And if I go for the next cycle, that gets completed here and it's gonna be at two seconds and so on and so forth. So that's the waveform for 3 sine 2 pi t plus 5 by 4. I hope my explanation makes sense to you guys. If you have still any questions or any particular example that you want me to solve, just leave it in the comment section and uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you for listening.